Hi, I'm Josh Oliver from Zenata Consulting. In today's video, I'm going to explain Zoho Creator's extension for Zoho CRM. By the end of this video, you'll have a more advanced understanding of how to integrate with Zoho Creator directly from your CRM. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you find this video helpful. Enjoy. All right, so to start, we need to start inside of the CRM and we go into settings and under marketplace, just select Zoho. And then from here, we have a list of all the extensions that Zoho offers natively between their different applications. And if we scroll down a little bit, we can find one that says build custom apps powered by Zoho Creator. And this is the one we're gonna be going over today. Now with this extension, what it allows you to do is view records from Zoho Creator within your CRM, and we can also create related lists linked to any one of these standard modules. So we can create uh, an integration between leads, contacts, accounts, deals, and so maybe if we wanted to see related records linked to an account or a deal or any of these modules, uh, we can do that through this uh, extension. We're not limited to the number of uh, forms that we have integrated. Uh, however, you are limited to the number of related lists you can have. So you might receive an error message if you have too many related lists. That number technically can be increased if you ask Zoho kindly or if you pay for an additional, I, I believe it's CRM Ultimate add-on that will allow you to have more related lists. I won't go too much into that, but in this extension, we can essentially bring in forms, reports, and show those related to accounts. So let's just go ahead and dive in. I am just gonna set up, uh, click manage. And from here, it's gonna ask you to create an application or we can import an app from Zoho Creator. I already have an app created in Zoho Creator, so I'm gonna go ahead and click import from creator. I'm gonna choose from our application list and the application I want to integrate is tasks. And then the form I wanna integrate is the task form. I wanna bring in the tasks from this application into CRM. Whenever I create this, it's going to create a tab at the top of the page for a report that I want to pull from, and I need to label this tab what I'd like it to say. Now, unfortunately, tasks already exist, so I won't be able to use this as a name, and it's going to give me an error message that says this tab uh, name already exists. So I'm just going to rename this to creator tasks for the purposes of today's video. What we can also do is we can associate this tab to a, what's called a tab group. So if you had multiple creator tabs and you wanted to associate these all to a tab group, uh, you could do that through this here. I'm not gonna worry about creating a tab group because we only have one tab coming in here, but you could imagine if you had five, six creator tabs and you wanna group them together, or if you wanted to group them with another tab group that you already have existing, then you can do that here. I'm gonna go ahead and click next here it's going to ask me to basically customize my form and this is the same form editor that you will see directly inside of creator so if i actually go into creator and edit this is my tasks application if i edit this and i go into the form builder we will see it's the exact same layout which basically saying you can edit this form directly from within this extension now for this to work, there is a prerequisite. You do have to have some sort of link between, actually there is not a prerequisite unless you want this to show up as a related list. In the purposes of today's demo, I want to link this task to a CRM account uh, so that whenever I'm inside of that CRM account, I wanna be able to see a list of all of the tasks that are linked and I also want to be able to create new tasks linked to that CRM account. And for that to work, we have to have an integration field. Scroll all the way down to the bottom and we can pull in from an integration lookup field. And I talked about this in a previous creator tip that I did, I think a few weeks back, uh, where you can integrate a lookup field directly from a CRM module. In this case, I have my CRM account lookup field on this task record, and that's gonna create that link between the task inside a creator and the CRM account. Let me hop back over into our extension, and we really don't need to make any changes here, so I can go ahead and just click next. I'm not gonna make any changes there. On this tab here, it's gonna ask, would we like this 
custom tab to be accessible to the selected profiles. And so we go ahead and select the profiles we want to give this uh, access to. And I'll just keep it as administrator for now, uh, but you can imagine uh, customizing that a little bit more. And then here is where you can dive into it a little bit further and it's going to ask, select the users you'd like to share this view with. Uh, by default, it chooses all users, but you can do show the selected users and you just basically need to select them. These are the users that will have access to all of the tasks within that, that view. Go ahead and click next. The number of users selected here exceeds the limit in your zero. Uh, all right, and if you do receive an error message when you select a user, that's probably because that user has not been added to Zoho Creator yet. Uh, so I did go ahead and just update that, and now this user has been added. Uh, so I can go ahead and click Next. Uh, and to do that, you just need to go into Zoho One Admin uh, Directory, and then from there, you'll be able to uh, associate the Zoho Creator app to that user. Next here, we want to link the custom app to a module. And this is what creates our related lists. This is really where the Zoho Creator extension shines within the CRM. So for this, we do need a link between the creator form and Zoho CRM. You do not have to do this. You can configure related lists at a later time, but I have it set up. And so let's go ahead and walk through that. So I'm gonna link this form to a module and I'm gonna call this tasks. Let's call this creator tasks because we already have a tasks related lists and we want to link this to our accounts. You can see we can link this to any module. We are not limited to it being a system defined module. We can do this for custom modules as well. So let's link this to an account and we are going to choose how we're going to fetch the records or what is going to be the unique identifier that makes that link. And in this case, it's the account ID. And within the form, that's linking to the CRM account. You could do this through using a, an account ID. If you had maybe just a string field on a, the form and you wanted to just associate the CRM account ID directly to that form, you could do that. Or you can use the CRM integration lookup, which would do the same thing. And so that's what we have inside of our form. It's just this CRM integration lookup. That is what we're going to select here. Next, we can choose what report we're going to be pulling from. It's going to be the all tasks report. If we had other reports, we could pull those. And so maybe if we wanted to create a, a report for just all open tasks or all closed tasks, we could create additional reports that have filters on them. And then those would be surfaced appropriately as the inside of the related list. So in this case, we just have one report, all tasks, and we can choose the columns we want to display. We can only display up to seven. In this case, we only have five, so we're well within the limit. Just to note here that the order of these columns cannot be changed, unfortunately. And the order shows up in this list based on the order they appear inside of the form. So we can see subject, notes, status, due date, estimate hours, and file upload. It's gonna show in this same order. Actually, for some reason, subject is, yeah, maybe not. I was always under the impression it's within the, it's in the same order as what it shows inside of the form, but it looks like that's not the case. I wish Zoho creator team would allow us to rearrange this because maybe we want to show subject up at the front and notes at the bottom and then maybe estimated hours or due date. Uh, unfortunately, you can't rearrange this and I, I'm not sure what the rhyme or reason is for the current order, but just know that it's going to appear in the related list in this order, uh, notes being the first one. So I'm going to click save and then it says, sorry, you've already reached a limit of five custom related lists. Uh, that's because I already have related lists for through other extensions in this account. So if I'm looking at our account record, we already have uh, one, two, three, four, five. I'm not sure what, which one. Of, uh, yeah, I think Zoho Desk is not a custom one. It's their local host is a custom. Analytics View is a custom one. And then we probably have some others in here that are custom. Yep. So I actually need to delete a related list before we can continue.
because you can only have five through the standard subscription that you have with Zoho One. So to clean this up, you just need to go into the module builder and the system, uh, when you come in here originally, it looks like this. We wanna click on detail view and then we can scroll down and we can choose any of these that we wanna remove. And one, once you remove it here, it's gonna show up inside of this unused list. And then once it's in this unused list, we can just simply remove them. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this one. I don't need this XML sample function anymore. Yes, delete. And now that should free us up a related list that we can use for creator. So let's hop back into our settings tab for this creator extension. And I'm simply just gonna click edit and we're gonna go through these same steps. Just go ahead and click next, next, next. And we're gonna link this again. So creator tasks. Accounts, account ID, CRM account. There we go. And let's pull in all of these fields, click save. Uh, it says there's are already another one. So let's, let me clean this up again. Okay, I removed uh, two others. Let's try again. Perfect. All right. So I was able to remove a few other uh, related lists and now I have our new creator tasks linked to accounts. Click finish. Now a few things have happened. If I click on the three dots under all of our modules, I can scroll down here. Actually, let's refresh the page first. And here we can see a new module has created called creator tasks. And this is a portal into our creator app. Uh, this is mimicking the same view we have inside a creator called all tasks. There we are. Uh, so yeah, it's the same view, all tasks matches all tasks in here. We can also create tasks from this view. We can sort, search, and do whatever we want from the CRM now uh, through this creator tasks tab. Also, we can see we have two tasks that are linked to a CRM account called the uh, Zenata Creator Test and just two tasks linked. So I can find that account, Zenata Creator Test, and we can see we have a new related list on this account called Creator Tasks. If I scroll down to this Creator Tasks, I can see those two tasks or those two records linked on this account now. What's great about this is I can delete, I can edit these tasks straight from within the CRM, and this will edit it directly inside of Creator as well. Any updates I make here will show live inside of Creator. I can also add new tasks from this view as well if I click Add. And when I do that, the integration field will auto-populate to Zenata Creator Test because it's I'm creating it from this account. And I can go ahead and add new tasks from new task from the CRM. Give it a status, due date, estimated hours, and submit. I could create another task or I can just exit this out. Now I can see that is a new task created from the CRM. And if I hop over inside, inside of creator, that same task has been added here. It's, uh, it's a direct portal into that creator app. Now that it's a related list, uh, we can rearrange this. So if we wanted to, we could come in here and move this up the view. If we wanna bring this to the top of our related lists. And like I said, we can also delete tasks straight from here, or delete records straight from here. So we have add, edit, delete permissions from the CRM to Zoho Creator. Now that is essentially the to the CRM. So if you have sales users that are working inside of the CRM and maybe you have uh, a production team or field agents uh, working inside of the Creator app, now they can work together and set up permissions accordingly so that not everyone needs to access the Creator app directly, but maybe they wanna just work with it inside of the CRM or maybe you just wanna be able to reference that information from your CRM as well.
I hope you found this video helpful, and I hope I got your mind thinking about the possibilities with Zoho Creator. Now you should have a good idea about how to integrate this yourself. If you have any questions or implementations you would like to share, please put those in the comments below or post in our community, Clubs Zanata. Thank you for watching and have a great day.